Hi everyone. I hope this finds you as well as can be, given, well, just about everything. Our Warhammery corner of the internet has been an interesting place, to say the least, in the last 24 hours. For those of you not aware, Alphabusa has made the decision to place his show, if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device, on an indefinite hiatus. This is, of course, a huge decision from a bastion of Warhammer fan content, and it's also, of course, predictably making waves. As a fan of the show since its debut, it hurts me to see something I've loved for so long depart. As a contributor, it hurts even more. I doubt many of you were aware of this, but for the past while I've been actively working on the show with Alpha, as he has brought me on board as the lead editor. To get to be a part of something you have in so many ways grown up watching, that spoke to something you've always loved in a way that just gets you, was a truly singular experience, and I have had some of the most fun and creatively fulfilling times being part of that TTS writer's room. I owe Alpha Busa, Erndil, Speaker D, and the entire TTS crew my sincere gratitude for their welcome, their professionalism, and their boundless energy for the project. And that is in a very real way the crux of the pain this whole thing has caused. Since the IP policy page updates on Games Workshop went public the other week, there have been many, many conversations about possibilities, about actions, about potential courses and options and plans. There has been fear, uncertainty, anger, resignation, and deep, painful frustration. The decision that was made was the result of hours upon hours of consideration. It was not made lightly, quite literally the opposite. Alpha's video, linked in the description below, speaks for itself. If you have not watched it, but have opinions about the whole affair, please, please take the time to hear him. I, I implore you, hear him out. As a creator, there are few things less utterly toxic to the creative process than uncertainty. If you are taking your time and your energy, if you are mustering up all that is required to simply make something, you want to know that you can deliver the vision you have into reality. It's a fairly simple equation. The more support you have during this process, the better the final result will be. This is true for anyone who wants to make anything be they just starting out, or be they having done something for eight years, as TTS has. Warhammer fan content has always, at least in my time online, felt like it exists perched upon a precipice. Games Workshop have, historically, been a fairly aggressive business in terms of protecting the integrity of their intellectual property. Even Oculus Imperia, this project that I love dearly and take no small measure of both pride and joy in has always dwelt there, in my mind, just one big corporate drive away from not being able to exist. It hasn't stopped me from building on it, and it will not going forward. I want to assure all of you that I will be continuing to work on this channel until I am told to stop. I am fortunate in that this channel has always been a passion project for me, made possible by both my day job and the extremely kind donations of my amazing Patreon subscribers. It is also something I run and manage almost entirely by myself, from writing to recording to editing, with my wonderful animator Miles contributing his work to the front and end credits. That is not the case with other creators, and is certainly not the case with the massive endeavor the TTS had become. I would not wish the decision Alpha has made upon anyone, but uncertainty is the death of forward planning and of security. To place TTS on indefinite hiatus under the current circumstances, and to take all that creative energy and bring it to projects anew and hopefully pastures greener, is absolutely the right decision in my mind, and I have given it 
and will give it my absolute fullest support. If you are sorry to see TTS go as I am, and if you want to support what we do next, and we will be doing new things, of that you can be assured, please consider going to Alpha's Patreon and throwing him a buck or two to help with this painful and difficult transition period. Please, please also abide by his express wishes and do not attack the employees of Games Workshop over this. Anyone who is in a position of visibility to you is fundamentally not the person or persons who drove the decision to update the IP policy in the manner that precipitated this. If these people are not the company they work within, and any change that must be made will not be affected by harassment of such people. As indeed for Games Workshop and its current policy towards fan creators, I can only express my most extreme disappointment in the move and in its timing. I am at this point very much a hobby longbeard. My first White Dwarf was issue 269 in May of 2002, bought alongside a third edition 40k Dark Eldar Battle Force. I have been involved with Warhammer as an avid fan and hobbyist for nearly two decades now, and I can tell you that these last few years have been to me genuinely some of its best. It has felt to me that the creation of Warhammer community with painting tutorials, events, and outreach, and just open engagement, that Games Workshop had turned a corner and was making genuine strides away from the closed-off black box that it had felt for most of my time as a hobbyist and as a consumer. I was optimistic when Warhammer Plus announced its debut of such amazing work by supremely dedicated fan creators now working in partnership with the company that I had thought had changed for the better. The IP update has, quite honestly, blighted so much of the goodwill I have felt these past years. It has felt like a return to the bad old days. To, if not open hostility, then at the very least cold indifference to the creators that work within the Warhammer universe. I cannot comment on company policy in any genuine sense. I don't work for them. Nor can I pronounce upon legal implications, because I am not a legal professional. Nor can I speak to where this may go in the future, because I simply don't know. I don't know enough about any of this. All I can do, as a fan, as a hobbyist, as a consumer, is express my frustration and my abiding wish for that policy to be ameliorated and for Games Workshop to prioritize the development of a more inclusive policy that actively supports and encourages the efforts of fan creators. Warhammer is an inherently social and community-driven hobby, and, as it should go without saying, a supremely creative one. We build, paint, and play within worlds we're deliberately encouraged to put our own unique stamps on, to come and enjoy the amazing playgrounds that are the 41st millennium or the mortal realms or the old world. Creativity is built into Warhammer at its core, and all aspects of it need to be encouraged, supported, and celebrated. Oculus Imperia will continue. I will not be going anywhere unless I am told to. I work on this channel for the love of doing it, and I work within this universe for the love I bear for it. It has always been about that, and of course, for all of you who enjoy what it is I do. I would encourage you all to support Alpha Busa in whatever way you can, be it on Patreon or simply just engaging with the projects we are cooking up when they arrive even if they are no longer Warhammer related. I would also more generally encourage you to support, share, and champion creators who make the things you love and appreciating their work for what it always is. A labor of love made often against the odds stacked against its very existence. Be brave enough to be kind.
and I will see you all for the next record.